when you're drawing on a sketchbook, you just got one layer to work with. But in Procreate, we got hundreds. I'll show you what we can do in this video. So let's check out how you can navigate your layer popover and some of the layer options you have in Procreate. Here's a drawing of an ankylosaurus I did for my dinosaur fairy tales. It looks like one image, but it's actually made up of many images. They're just on different layers. You can access the layer popover by tapping on this icon here. You can turn layers on and off by tapping this box. Here's my medium ankylosaurus and here's my big ankylosaurus. Notice as I turn on each dinosaur, it appears over the previous one. That's because order matters. You can imagine each layer being a piece of paper or a transparent sheet, all stacked in the order you see in your layer popover with the layer at the very top being the top and the bottom most layer called the background layer. This is a special layer in Procreate. If you tap on it, it'll change to the color popover. You can select a different color to change the background color. I think my Spinosaurus needs to be in front of the bridge and water. Okay, let's move that layer. To move, tap on the layer to select it. It turns blue. That's the layer you're on. If you use any of your paint, smudge, or erase tool, it will only affect the blue layer. I can erase the bridge, but not the Spinosaurus because that's on another layer. Okay, so let's go back to moving the bridge layer below the Spinosaurus. Tap and hold on the layer until the, it pops a little. Now I can drag it down or up to move the Spinosaurus layer and let go. To create a new layer, tap on the plus symbol over here. Uh, I think I'll add a layer with fishes for the Spinosaurus to catch and eat. To delete a layer, um, like this one here, it was just a sketch I did and I don't think I need it anymore. So to delete it, I'll just tap and swipe the layer to the left. See that? It gives you the option to lock, which means you can't make any changes to that layer, uh, duplicate to copy that layer, or delete. Let's delete. You can also select multiple layers. Just tap on a layer, it will turn blue. Then swipe to the right on another layer, it will turn a darker blue. The darker blue represents the secondary layer. The lighter blue is your primary layer. Any erasing painting will happen only on the primary layer. That's the light blue layer. But by selecting multiple layers, you can do things like moving them as a group. This minus symbol also appears here. If you tap, tap on that, it will delete all the layers you have selected. Or you can move them all into a group. You might notice my dinosaurs are actually in a group. They, these aren't layers you, you can draw on. If I tap the arrow, it will open up that group. Here's another group within the group. To animate my characters, I need to move body parts and have them all on their own layers. So I end up having a lot of layers and this helps me keep things organized. I think I'll group this fish layer with this bridge layer. To group layers, select multiple layers. The plus symbol up here will change to these three kind of minus symbols. Well, tap on them to group them. There. Okay, another way to group layers. Um, let me undo. And just tap on a layer or tap it twice to bring up the layer option. Tap on combine down. Now these two layers have been combined into a group. Let's also rename. How about make this background for the group. And I'll tap this. Turn this into fish and bridge. So combine down is different from merge down, which is also here. If I merge two layers, it takes the layer you have selected and merges with the one below it to make the two layers into one layer. Now I can't just erase the fish anymore without erasing the water. Here, let me undo. A quicker shortcut to merging is to just pinch two layers together. Or if I want to merge 
a whole bunch of layers, just pinch from the topmost layer to the bottommost layer of the layers you want to all merge together. Notice it takes the name of the bottom layer. I won't go into all these layer options in this video, but I will go over the alpha lock because that's pretty useful. When I tap on the alpha lock, notice the fish image background changes to a checkerboard. That means this layer's alpha channel is locked. I don't know why, but the image channel that stores the amount of transparency is called the alpha. So every pixel that you put down also has an alpha. In my brush tutorial, I talked about changing the opacity here. So if the brush opacity is low and you paint with it, you'll see the layer below it. Same idea. So by locking the alpha, you can't change the transparency of that layer, but you can still change the color. So um, maybe I want to change the color of the fish. I can't. Or maybe I want to use a bigger textured brush to add some shading along the edges, but I don't want to go outside the fish. Locking the alpha is so useful, there's actually a shortcut. If you swipe a layer to the right with two fingers, it'll toggle the alpha lock. If you accidentally tap with two fingers instead of swiping to the right, you did the old layer opacity shortcut. You will see a blue line across the top with the word slide to adjust. Now you're changing the opacity of the whole layer by sliding your finger across the top. Another way to access the layer opacity in the layer popover is to tap on the letter N. N for normal. Uh, this will bring up the opacity and blending options you have for that layer. Here you can change the opacity and below here are the blending options for that layer. Blending is how a layer interacts with the layer below it. There are five different kinds of blending groups called darken, light, contrast, difference, color, and within each group they have different kinds of blends that work slightly differently. The blending mode affects the whole layer. I won't go over each one, but play around and see what it does. As I change the blending mode, the letter N will also change. Now it's M for multiply. So what, happened when, what ha so what happens when you merge layers with different blend modes? It will just apply whatever blending mode you have using and it will take the blending mode of the bottom layer. Like how it takes just the name of the bottom layer. Okay, so we'll stop here because this is getting a bit long. But maybe I'll go make another video showing some of the practical ways in which you can uh, use what you learned here. Here, let's just do a quick review of all the swiping and tapping. Tap the box to turn it on and off. Tap the N to change the opacity and the blend. Tap the layer name or the thumbnail once or twice to bring up your layer options. Tap and hold and drag up and down to move the layer. Do a one finger swipe to the left to lock, duplicate, or delete your layer. One finger swipe to the right to select multiple layers. Two finger swipe to the right to toggle the alpha lock and two finger tap to change the opacity. Whew. Did you get all that? <laughs> don't worry. After a while, you don't even think about it. It's just, you can just do it. I promise. <laughs> all right. Hey, I hope that was fun and helpful. Um, there was just a lot I didn't get to, like masking. And I want to show like some of the more practical ways I use it in my own work. So check out the, my next video. And I am E.B. Adams, uh, children's author on YouTube, which means I publish stories on YouTube. So check it out. Uh, there's links here. All right. Thanks.